Hi, good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody from the beautiful shores of the island of Oahu, off of Eva Beach, Hawaii. Good morning. I'm going to give it a few seconds here, a minute or two, for people to join. I'm trying to really, really um, encourage uh, people to follow me on my Delilah's Downloads page uh, versus my personal page. Um, so going live from Delilah's Downloads, um, if you have not yet followed me here, please find the page and do so, Delilah's Downloads on Facebook. Um, you can also subscribe to the YouTube page, Delilah's Downloads. Um, but good morning, everybody. Take a moment or two. It's such a beautiful day out here. Um, God is such an awesome God. And uh, the ocean, as far as the eye can see, that's how immense and immeasurable our God is. Um, from the oceans to the mountains, Hawaii just really reminds me of the power of God. Uh, but wanted to come talk to you guys this morning. I've uh, started a study. This is the month of June. Um, you know, June indicates new season. Let me turn around here. Uh, we know June indicates... Hi, everybody. We know June indicates uh, the mark of new season for most of us. It indicates the summer season is beginning. Um, so, I uh, wanted to come talk to you guys. I started in the month of June today, June 1, um, reading the book of Psalms. Um, interestingly enough, right, Psalms, uh, the majority of them, well, Psalms referred to, right, as the book of praise, the book of praise, right, we know praise is the key to a whole lot, Psalms, the book of praise, the majority of, uh, of the word is authored by David, uh, but there are, there are a few more authors of Psalms, uh, I'm not going to rattle them off, I've recently learned about majority of them myself. Um, I was one that believed that David, <laughs> David pretty much authored them all, uh, but he did not. So Book of Psalms, the Book of Praise in Hebrew translates Book of Praise, has more than just um, songs. Today as I went through Psalm 1, um, specifically verses 1 through 3, um, I felt more instruction uh, more action. I'm just walking along here, taking a pause. I know the sun is kind of beaming, I'm trying to see how, okay, maybe better if I, oh, but that's me walking backwards. We'll figure it out. Anyway, <laughs> um, book of Psalms. So coming to you guys with a word from the book of Psalms, um, known as the book of praise, but in one, if you guys can get your word, check it out. It really gives us instruction. And to me, when I read it, it was just action, 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 her action, action. What actions are we taking? So the book of Psalms 1, 1 through 3, um, actually reads, and I'm walking and reading. Uh, we're walking and holding the word, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, it reads, blessed is the one, of course, it's NIV version. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked or stand in the way that sinners take or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by the streams of water, which yields its, seed, its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. So, a few things. <laughs> a few things first of all it starts out with blessed is the one so if you want to be blessed right these are instructions on how you can be blessed blessed is the one who does not right so it starts off with things that we should not do and in verses one through verses one actually it gives three distinct actions um, that we should not take with in certain situations so who does not walk in step with wicked 
who are you walking with? We have to be we have to be cautious on who we keep company with. Who's walking beside us? Who's speaking in it to our life? If we have folks in our life that are not speaking to us out of the word of God, we need to be really careful on walking side by side with them and taking counsel from them. Do not walk with the wicked. Um, the second one was, and do not stand in the way that sinners take. So to me, I felt so, I felt kind of relieved because it didn't say don't cross paths with sin. Um, or anything like that. It said, do not stand in the path that sinners take. So there's a different thing to pass through and there's a different thing to stand. If you are standing in sin, if we are standing in sin, um, knowing that we're sinning and just refusing and rebelling to get out of the sin, um, because God is, Jesus has died for all of our sins. So all of that is done. It's just up to us on our willingness and obedience to follow. So if we're standing in sin, you're blocking blessings. Because this is blessed. the word of God that I'm looking at right now. NIV Psalms 1 says, blessed is the one who does not stand in the way that sinners take. Um, so we have to be careful on what we're tolerating in our own lives from our own, um, our own ways of being. And then lastly, it says, and do not sit in the company of mockers. Are we sitting back just talking about one another, judging one another? And not only not only are we not doing these things, but are you sitting with people who are doing these things? Are you tolerating other people doing these things? Or are we speaking up to say, yeah, either I don't, I don't want you to talk that way when I'm around, or are we just refraining from being around them? Because the word says that we do not, we do not sit in the company of mockers. That's what the word of God says. It's not my word. It's the word of God. But contrary to what we do not do, what we should do, those are the things we should not do, but what we should do, right? Blessed is the one who does not do this, these things, but who delights in the word of the Lord. So you're in your word and you're smiling and you're, get, you're feeling comfort from just having direction from God. Um, you're praying for a thir you thirst for his word so you can continually, continuously sit and stand in it. Um, and you're meditating on it day and night. So that means that, you know, words are popping into your head and um, you're just you're thinking about them. You're asking God for clarity on them, revelating words on how they speak into your life specifically. And, um, and you're meditating on them day and night. You're meditating on them day and night. And if we, if we do that, the word says in verse 3 that this person is like a tree planted by streams of water. Just get that image, fam. You're not like a flower planted by a stream of water if you follow these things. You're like a tree. And not just simply planted, but planted by life source, by water. So we all know that trees have deep roots. So that means we're firmly planted, girded, in the word of God and it, it sometimes life might comes at, come at us but you know in the flowers at the top uh, a leaf or two might fly away but we're going to be rooted right we're rooted by the by the source by the life source so we continue to bloom and we complain we continue to nourish um, I'm sorry we continue to flourish and we continue to produce fruit and and that's the indicator What's showing up in your life? What type of relationships do we have? Um, what type of um, actions are we taking? Look around. Look at the people who are a product of being in a relationship with you. What do they look like? Um, how are you speaking into people? What is your fruit? What is, is there generosity? Is there care? Is there love? Is there ministry? Or is everybody who sits around you, you know, angry, bitter? mockers I mean look at the look at the fruit the fruit's going to be telling on where we stand um there's some things that I've seen in my life right that kind of line up with um the do, the do nots that I need to focus on um to make more of a do <laughs> to make more of a do um so the word this morning fam is what actions are you be taking are we walking with those we shouldn't are we standing and seeing where we shouldn't are we sitting with folks who are just talking nonsense and being judgmental? 
Um, or are we delighting in the word of God? Are we meditating in the word of God so that we could be planted uh, with the word of God, firmly rooted like a tree being nourished, right? Being nourished by life's water, right? Which is the word of God. So fam, um, just want to share that with you. Was really, really excited this morning because and if anybody knows me, you know that if anybody's been in church with me, let me say that, you know that I am a worshiper. I am a praise and worshiper. So I was excited to get into the book of Psalms, but I was even more excited when it opened up with instruction, with instruction, because a lot of times we want to dive in and not know how to dive in. Um, so I was excited to, to, to kind of get that, that word this morning on instruction. Um, so that is what I had to share today, fam. Um, Delilah's downloads here on the coast of Oahu off of Ever Beach, Hawaii. Um, saying what needs to be said. Saying what needs to be said. Um, so, so what actions are we taking? Take a look. Take inventory. Um, what do your do nots look like and what do your do's look like? Psalms 1, verse 1 through 3. Um, so that's what I had to share for today. I also want to mention, um, family, that God has really been doing a work on me on um, kind of uh, defining, defining the ministry um, that I've been that I've been called to, the work that I've been called to, um, and it's unfolding that you know it's a healing and restoration ministry um, tailored tailored to women, um, but informational for for men. So um, please continue to tune in, um, no matter if you're a female, if you're a woman or a man. Um, there is a word here for you, um, but my but my calling. Um, and I think I've said it in a place or two from the block to the boardroom um, is for women and block to boardroom fam just so that you know um, everybody has a testimony and a story and my story takes me on that journey right from the block hanging out on the block right so being able to speak to women who may be in that situation all the way through my journey that's still ongoing but ultimately landed me to um, boardroom so I, I have a testimony and I have a walk that is able to speak into women from on the spectrum of the block to the boardroom um, that I'm able to relate and um, relate and be in relationship with. So really excited on how this is going to unfold. I see huge things um, coming in the immediate and near term future. Um, so stay tuned in, um, talking everywhere from women, our position in the world, our position in relationship. Um, some things are going to not be easy to say, and I know they're not going to be easy to hear, but just trying to pull the, just trying to pull the, the, the rug back on the enemy who, who has been lying to us for so long, for so long. So that's again, Delilah's downloads, um, tuning in to um, the specifics on the ministry that God has called me for. Um, so stay tuned in again today, Psalms 1 verses 1 through 3. What actions are you taking? Cut out the do nots and start with the do's. I love you family. Until next time, I have my Bible in my hand. I will give you a shaka, um, but I'll flip you around to see one last you know, one view for last week for today. I um, bet you guys in the low high. In the low high. Awesome. God is so awesome. And above him.